welcome back to the channel. Let's explore together. Today we're checking out Andy Chizek, maybe? Um, Linkin Park crawling a vocal cover. Now, Linkin Park covers of their good songs are a risky business. Linkin Park's got a lot of songs that are mid to low tier that cover all day. Uh, but they're big songs. You don't want to cover them unless you're really prepared to cover them. And most people aren't. Now, I've seen this guy cover one other Linkin Park song and he pulled it off. So I have some faith that he could do it again. Crawling is just, Crawling is a bigger song um, that Chester did a very special thing with. It's one of those songs that you gotta be ready if you wanna do it. So this has been requested by you guys. If you want me to react to stuff that I otherwise might not, check the links in the description for ways to do so or join us on live streams when a lot of these are recorded. So, um, let's just hope that he pulls it off. I wanna listen to something good. Christmas lights, though. LED strips. LED strips are usually less expensive than Christmas lights. Why? Just get the LED strips. Also, this sound treatment he has uh, really isn't doing anything. This probably is. If this is, this looks like it could be incognito sound treatment, and this looks like sound treatment. So these would do something. But the big areas that you would want the reverb treatment are these areas where he has these. And these don't do a whole lot in this kind of quantity because these are very weak at actually absorbing reflections, which is what you want to do for sound treatment. None of this matters though, because he's recording into the Shure SMB uh, 7, I think is what it is. And this thing's noise gate is so ridiculous that any room reverb is never going to be captured anyway. So you don't even usually need a sound treated room for these to sound great, which is why they're so popular amongst podcasters and radio broadcasters. Cause even if you're in like the most echoey room ever, they'll still sound pretty good. Uh, anyway, sorry, audio nerd coming out. I, I, it's not obvious that I own and operate a professional studio or anything. Nerd talk. All right, from this, these first notes, I think we could confidently say he's going to pull it off, and for that, we thank him. Flawless victory. <laughs> A rare instance where someone is better at the grime than they are at the pretty. Usually you see people who struggle with the grime but nail the pretty. This is the reversal. He struggles a little in the pretty sections, but he nailed the grime. If I had to pick one, I would rather you succeed at the grime, so we're still going to give him a pass for not being perfect at the pretty. Honestly, I think if he just used more aggressive pitch correction software, it'd be fine, which Chester Bennington used very aggressive pitch correction. I think they used Melodyne on him most of the time. Like, and it was very aggressive. Every note was pitched. So honestly, I think this is more of a failure in engineering than execution. Um, so yeah, just, just be a little more, a little more hands-on with your uh, pitch correction and this would be fine. Nice little harmony there. I don't like the, uh, the, the artistic decision there to not rap that. If you're going to be doing the song and making it sound exactly the same, essentially, which is what you're doing, I don't think that's the time to try to reimagine something, especially when the singing bit's not the, the strongest bit. I should have just left that as a little Mike Shinoda rap. Just, just throwing that out there. That probably would have been for the best. I felt this way before. So insecure. Now we're back to the good stuff. Let's go. Hey. 
I, I feel like I need to get a thumbnail with my Sure SM, uh, SM7B, which means I have to go find it. Hopefully, it's it's close by. Hold on. I'm still here. Believe you me. Where where did you go? Aha! Here he is. Is it the SM7B? Is it? Yes, I was saying it right. I'm bad with names of everything. Look. Look who I found. Yes, I'm not using this for recording because I don't like my mic to be in frame when I record. And again, the noise gate on this is so crazy. You have to use like two cloud risers just to make it loud enough. And then it picks up everything. That's why podcasters and stuff, it's like up here because that's the way this mic is meant to be used. You're supposed to be like sucking it off. Uh, so I have a much more sensitive condenser mic for, for these purposes. This I use for a lot of, um, I use this for recording acoustic guitar more than anything. Um, at this point, because I have a nicer mic for recording vocals for, uh, you know, for my own stuff. Where's my brain going? You know, too much music nerd stuff in this. So if you're not a music nerd, sorry about you. You know, I'm going to take this to the next level. Hold on. He's got monitors in. Ugh. This thumbnail, this thumbnail about to be accurate as hell. We got a monitor because he, he wearing that monitor, bro. He wearing that live performance monitor. We, we, we throw one of those in. Bam. Oh, crap. Got tangled. Hold on. Oh no, it just, everything just fell apart. They unplug so easily. Oh, oh my existence. My existence crumbling before me. Yoink. Oh, okay. Wait, which ear? Oh, it's going to be this ear. Wait, no, we could do this ear. We could, we could do the mirroring him. All right, let's, let's just get this, let's get this going. Our, our historically accurate thumbnail moment. This is history now, because we're making history now. Shut up and don't argue with it. All right, so we're going to cross swords like some sexy homoerotic ghostbusters and then go. How is he doing? He's like singing. Ah! Something like that. Listen, this is a quality content that you don't even have to pay for. Y'all should be thankful. <laughs> well, actually, someone did pay for this quality content, come to think of it, since this is a paid-for reaction. But you know what? You should still be thankful to that person. Reacting? That's what I'm doing! God, that's a stupid joke. my own reflection. Oh, I'm so scatterbrained this reaction. Yeah, that should have been left as rap, though, that's for sure. Leave that as rap, big guy. Back to the good stuff. Ooh, you taking it a level up? Let's go. Good job, buddy. I do like that he's emulating the the way that um, Chester says heal, which sounds like EO for some reason. Okay, buddy. 
That was a little sexy, sexy something, something. Alright, thank you for not screwing it up. We appreciate that. That's enough of that. All right, let me know what I should check out next. Blah, 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 until we explore again for more nonsense. I'll see you next.